In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do single crochet. It should look something like this in the end. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. We're gonna do a single crochet square. I'm using 100% acrylic yarn. If you don't already know how to find the right crochet hook for your work, you're gonna wanna turn it. If you just turn it right here, you can actually go right here. And you're gonna wanna look 5.5. So, I personally like to use a little bit smaller hook than that, 5 millimeter instead of a 5.5. That's what I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna take this off, and then you're gonna wanna find your edge. There's either gonna be one in the middle right here, or you can work from this middle piece. I prefer using the middle piece, but this one, I could not find it. So, you're gonna start by making a slip knot. The way I make a slip knot is I usually grab it with my pointer and my thumb. And I go like this, I grab the edge, make sure there's a little tail. You're gonna wanna take the rest of these fingers and I wrap it around this long piece. Grab it, take this piece, you should have like a loop. You're gonna wanna take this and you're gonna twist like this, just once. And then I usually like to go like this with these two, grab it, so I'll take these two and I'll wrap it and I'll put it at this edge right here. I'll take my middle finger and my thumb, put it right at the edge where, where it is twisted, right here. I take this, these two fingers, my middle and my pointer, and I grab this yarn. Make sure you're holding onto this piece, hold onto this piece. And you're gonna wanna just pull like this. Then once you have this knot, you're gonna take your crochet hook, put it through. Then you're gonna take your long string and you're just gonna pull it like this and it tightens. So then pinch, wrap around your pointer finger, take your middle and thumb and you're gonna wanna grab right where this little like knot is. You should have a kind of tension. So make sure your slip loop is not too tight so you can't get the thing through. Make sure it's kinda loose, don't have it like this. So you don't want it like this so you want it to be like this, you want it right there. You're gonna take your hook under, make sure you hook it right there, and then you're gonna wanna just pull it through this loop. If this loop is too tight, make your tension a little less. So go under, don't grab this piece, just grab this piece right here. You're gonna grab it, pull through your loop. That is your first single crochet stitch. Now you're gonna repeat this. So you're gonna go under, yarn over, take this piece, and bring it through. Okay, so you're gonna yarn over like this and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Show you it one more time. You can go like this, see this, and you're gonna wanna go under like this. There's two pieces. You're gonna wanna go under this piece right here, unless you're holding it somewhere different. You're gonna take this, make sure you have two little things on it and you're gonna just bring down your hook and you're gonna pull it through this loop right here and pull through. Make it as long as you want. I'm just gonna do 16 stitches. And if you're ever wanting to count your stitches, you're gonna wanna go like this. So this white one right here, this is one, this is two, three, four, five, six. And this loop that's on your thing is not considered a stitch until you make it one. We're gonna yarn over, I have six, and that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So just like that, that's what it's pretty much gonna look like. Okay, now comes a tricky part. Now you're gonna do your second row. The second row is kind of hard. If you see right here, here, I'm gonna just take this out real quick. So if it's like this, right here is your first stitch. And this is your second stitch. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your yarn, pull it, put it through that first little triangle piece. So if you see this piece right here, you're gonna put your hook through it. Now you should have two loops on your hook. Now, I'm gonna put under, wrap over, and make sure you only Go through this first one. The first stitch is always the hardest on the second row because it has this piece right here. So 
Look at that. And if this bottom piece is too tight, just take it with your fingers and loosen it. And then you're going to yarn over, and this time you're going to pull through both of them. So, pull through both of them. Okay, just like that. And then, so, now we finish this first stitch. Just like this. This is our first stitch. Now, you might think, oh yeah, go into this piece right here. We're not going to go into that piece. We already went into that piece. So, you're going to want to take it, and you're going to want to go through this piece. Right here. So, you're going to take your piece, and you're just going to go through right here. Okay, and then you're going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over again, and this time pull through two. Okay, great. And you see this stitch right here, this little piece? You're going to stick your yarn through that. You're going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Whatever you're making, it'll be the size of that. And always remember, you're probably not going to get this the first try. Just know that. So then we're going to go into this stitch right here. Just like this. Boom. This, we got two. We're going to yarn over. Pull, pull through one. Yarn over again. Pull through two. Okay. Just like that. And you're going to repeat that till you get to your last stitch. Okay. So now, take it again. This is the stitch you're going into. You're going to put it in. You're going to yarn over, bring it through, yarn over, bring it through. Okay, then you're going to do that again in this stitch right here where my thumb is pointing. And then you're going to stick it in. You're going to wrap it around, pull it through, and you're going to yarn over, pull through two. Okay, just like that. That's exactly what you're going to do, okay? Now, you're going to keep doing that. So then, go into this stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over. So you're just going to pull through right here. Okay, and then we're going to put it through this stitch right here. Right here. We're going to put it through. Bring it down. And yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. This last stitch, we're gonna, well, this is like the second to last stitch. So there's always this stitch. You're gonna put it through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then there's this piece right here. You could either go into it or not. I usually try and go into it. It is um, just a really like tight stitch pretty much because it was your first stitch. So really you don't have to do that piece. And this is what you should end up with as your first row. Okay. Just like that. So it should look a little like this. So now, as since your work looks like this, make sure this tail, you can always snip it. You do not have to keep it. Let me go grab some scissors. You're going to need scissors also. I like to take my tail, usually, especially if it's really long. If it's short, you can just keep it. But if it's really long, I like to just cut it like halfway maybe a little bit more so then there's at least like an inch and a half or so or just an inch works right here is your little extra piece don't worry about that yet we'll deal with that later once you get to the end right here you're gonna yarn over pull through okay so do that before you turn your work this time if you look on top there are these two stitches. So if you look 
right here, there's this pin and there's this piece. You're gonna put in this stitch right here. You're gonna wanna go in the second one, right here. Okay, so make sure you go through both. Do you see how there is now, if you look closely, there's one, two, three. So there should be three, but now we're just gonna consider these two right here, one. So you're gonna take your yarn, you're gonna yarn over, pull through those first two, then take this, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and then you're gonna put it through the two, don't skip anything this time. Put it through this one and this one. This one right here. You're going to put it through these two. Right here. And then there's one right here. Right here. And then there's two. You're going to yarn over, pull through those first two-ish loops, and yarn over and pull through, two, pull through the other two. Now, you're just going to repeat that. You're going to put it through the two right here. You're going to yarn over, you're going to pull through, yarn over, pull through. You're going to put it in, just like that. You're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then you're going to put it through the two, like that. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to take it again, put through these two right here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then put it in, go yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then keep doing that until you get to the end. extra piece. I recommend not going into it. It might seem like you should, but don't. Like, so there's this extra loop right here. Don't go through it. It's just annoying the fact that it's there. So then you're just going to continue this until however big you want it. I usually go to about like this thick or something. So I'll show you a finished single crochet square. So this is what a finished one will look like. So you did all this from here, and then you're gonna build it to about here. Get as many chains as you want, and you're just gonna repeat this pattern. Make sure before you turn your project, always chain one. Then keep going, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna finish mine, and then I'll show you how to end off your crochet. So this is as big as I'm going to make this one. Yarn over once, like this, and then take, take your yarn, cut it about five inches, however inches, you, however much you want. And you're just going to pull that through. Like, just pull it tight. Make sure it's tight. And if you see this start going like this, it doesn't matter. Once you make it big enough and bigger, it'll just flatten out. With this edge right here, you're just, this edge is more tied off than it seems. So you can either go into it like this, right, um, right here, and go one, two, like that. I'm gonna do it again. Like that, pull through, and tighten. You can either do that or you can just cut it as it already is because that one will be tight too. I like to do it extra just so that it doesn't go undone, just in case. And if you don't like it, tuck it in. It's tucked in. Now you cannot see it and it's perfect. There you go. 